mission is, is central to both the success of science and the success of operations up here. Um, we put a tremendous level of effort into maintaining the station from an operational standpoint. We operate a lot of heavy equipment to do snow removal around the buildings. One strategy that's quite effective in dealing with snow accumulation is to put our structures up on elevated jackable platforms. The big house behind me was raised just two years ago and already the snow is beginning to catch up to it. We're going to raise it again this summer to about 12 feet above grade. This is going to allow the snow to uh, scour underneath it and prevent large drifts from forming. And the idea of that is that we keep the buildings up and out of the snow so that we don't have to operate heavy equipment around them. We have this kind of constant dilemma that we're coming up here to try to measure stuff that we would like to think is coming from thousands of miles away, but we have a huge source of it. So the, the diesel generators that keep the lights on and keep us all warm are a big problem for us. We've got a new wind turbine here this year, a 6KW pilot renewable energy project which is really a feasibility study for how well this technology is going to do for us in the future. We're ultimately looking at about 150 kilowatts of wind power for this station. Additionally, there will be about 35 kilowatts of photovoltaics. So 75 percent of the electrical energy used on station will be produced with renewable energy. Uh, we've developed a pedestrian culture up here, so we encourage everybody to walk wherever they're going whenever possible instead of jumping on a snow machine. We've got a couple pairs of skis that we let people use and snowshoes. The other day some scientists walked five kilometers off station to set up an experiment. And a couple of years ago that's something people would have just jumped on a snow machine to do. Up here at Greenland uh, we have what we call the clean air zone where a lot of the science goes on, sampling air, sampling snow. And we just can't get in there with your conventional snow machines. This is where the bad boy buggy uh, comes in, uh, an electric golf cart that's four-wheel drive and just works great as long as the snow is reasonably hard and compact. People here are not here to do races and things like that. They're doing research, so often enough, the snowmobile is going to be trailering some uh, nice uh, and expensive scientific equipment so we don't want to go fast so high speed is not a criteria really it's a uh, range uh, decent towing capacity and reliability is the big one we do a lot of heat recovery from our generators our generators have a lot of waste heat coming off of them so we capture that to run heating loops through the buildings I'm here outside the greenhouse in its utility vault this is where the waste heat comes into the building from the power plant two buildings over this here is the air handler that will distribute that heat throughout the greenhouse. Um, last year we identified lighting as being a, an important load to reduce, and so we relamped the whole station with high efficiency lighting and compact fluorescent bulbs. These use only slightly more than one quarter of the electricity that the old light bulbs used. We are in a wilderness area and uh, you know there's just always a great solitude you experience in a wilderness, there's always a, a great connection, you really feel like you're standing on the planet when you're at a place like Summit. You've got the sky above you and the ground below you and the light all around you. It's, it's really phenomenal. It would be possible, we think, to run this place entirely by photovoltaics and, and wind power. We need to think about working with nature instead of struggling against it because if we can rely less and less on fossil fuels here and sort of you know brute force technology there's no reason why we can be an example and show that you can do this in easier places because this obviously is a tough environment to make this transition.